I decided to go with an intimate setting today. Uh, it's midnight, 12.44 a.m. to be exact, and Drizzy Drake dropped two new tracks. It's always a great day when Drizzy drops something, I'm telling you. Uh, one of my favorite artists, I'm a Drake fan, you probably know this. Um, the first mixtape over there <laughs> as a, a poster. Let's see what he got us this time. The best in the world pack. Sounds exciting. Track one, Omerta. Look at my history. I'm trying to see what's different from that guy in the rich and me. The only thing I see is custom house from Tiffany. And see, that's it to me. Aside from the obvious, man, it changes. And that's how we continue down the path of Jordan and Jackson. Body that fold on me. I'm buying a building at every door that closed on me. Ah. Yeah, Laura Piana and Brioni, the one and only. So those lines were pretty much self-reflection of what happened last year. Uh, I assume he's talking about a beef with Pusha T. Not everyone know about this, by the way. If you are not a hip hop fan, you probably didn't catch what was happening in, um, I would say, summer 2018 when Drake and Pusha T got involved in a hard hitting beef where they dropped two diss tracks, one by one. First it was Drizzy uh, with the Dappy Freestyle. Then Pusha T, the story of Adidon, which I thought <laughs> it might end his career, but like it didn't, of course, because Drake is so huge. And you know, um, many people don't know about this, actually. Just regular casual listeners don't know what happened last year, but like Drake, Oh boy, Pusha T freaking punished <laughs> Drake for everything wrong he did in his life. <laughs> it's definitely, that was some hard hitting diss track. Drake, oh boy, he got exposed. After that, uh, some respect got lost in the rap community for Drake. Also, some press releases, some deals, you know, with Adidas, for example. Uh, it got cancelled uh, because of this and this is what he means by, you know, I'm gonna try this year uh, to open every door that got closed. Your baby mother called me when she lonely. My tailor see me twice a week, he like my homie. A real nigga in a loo. To me, Benny Hanna is pigeon food. It's not a forgiving mood. So much we gotta count. <laughs> Sorry. He said Benny Hanna. I have not been there in such a long time. Benny Hanna restaurant is where the cooks, chefs, they cook in front of you and they make an entertainment out of it. Damn, good times. <laughs> Money is digital. Uh, I don't carry cash because money is digital. My dad actually, he literally don't want cash to disappear because he he creates this uh, money counters, uh, which uh, counts like cash. You know, like when you put a stack of money and then the, there's this machine like. Trrr, with like which does it so basically we sell that uh, I, I work in his company by the way uh, so like uh, no Drake <laughs> money is not digital yet <laughs> we still have our words in the business we're making money still off of people <laughs> by selling this machines all right stop it <laughs> all right just kidding okay not a bad track I didn't really enjoy it to be honest, it's like 6 out of 10 to me, uh, but it's always nice to get Drizzy Drake because, bro, <laughs> whenever Drake is not there, it feels lonely <laughs> in the music world, it's empty sort of like, I, uh, Drake always drops something. We can't say that this behavior from Drake dropping all the time, music drops the quality probably because he doesn't spend so much time working and crafting those songs however you know he just he just got it he just got the talent he knows what works he knows how to create appealing song for everyone so the dude whenever he doesn't drop like it's been what i i remember like just not so long ago i've been thinking damn it's 2019 
Drake dropped his last album Scorpion and then after that only have been in a couple features but other than that in 2019 like it's been silent it's been without Drake and it's been like damn shit like I want Drake to come back already you know what I'm saying though <laughs> even though I am the one who judged his last album Scorpion and I said damn like over a load of tracks 25 tracks too much and they all average these tracks I mean of course there were highlights like uh don't matter to me with michael jackson in my feelings uh god's plan and so on and so forth however the overall album it's not nothing was the same it's not take care it's not even if you're reading it's too late it's not so far gone you know what i'm saying so or views or even freaking 2017's tape which was also a fire for me actually i loved all 22 tracks um been, okay l later of course i've been uh, listening to only like few but it's been later when it dropped i was actually listening to the whole thing i'm uh, talking about more life but yeah only scorpion that got me disappointed actually um so i hope i hope that drake will come up with some fire i criticized scorpion and i said he should take some time off i said between next between this album and next album two years should pass I said, uh, I don't know if I said it on camera, but I said it to myself. Drizzy should drop something in 2020 instead of dropping every year so that he will understand what's next. Two new singles right now. Let's listen to second one. This is a sign for a new album. I don't know. But at this point, as I said, I'm happy that I'm, we're getting something, to be honest. Money in the Grave featuring Recross. Let's go. Okay. Come on. Give that heat to me. Yeah, yeah. I wanna hear it. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? Hey. I got clothes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Hey. Thinking back to the fact that they dead. Thought my raps were the facts till they sat with the bars. Okay. I got two big packs coming on the way. I got big stacks coming out to save. All right. I got a little man in the game. In the next life, I'm trying to stay paid. This one has more swag to it, you know what I'm saying? The beat. It's kicking the way Drake flows is better. First one was some real shit, like he was talking about his life was currently happening. What's up with him? <laughs> you know, well, what matters to him? But now it's like more, it's still what matters to Drake, but now it's with more swag rather than like plain beat and same delivery all the time. When I die, I put my money in the grave. Hey. When I die, I put my money in the grave. I really gotta put a couple niggas in a place. Really feel this nigga on my face. Let okay. The CC, let it slap with the bass. I used to save holes with a mask in a cage. Jazzy, baby J, tell him when I die, I put my money in a grave. Couple nice. Ooh. Come on, across. That was nice transition between them. Smooth. Flawless. I fuck with this. Definitely fuck with this one. Okay. Pretty good track. Mine in the grave. Um, really solid, actually. I feel like eight on that one. Mine in the grave it was actually pretty dope. Uh, Remind me of uh, like older. Uh, swag tracks by Drake like from if you're reading this is too late type of deal uh, or what a time to be alive so I like it I like it definitely Omerta I might grow on me uh, but for now it's like a little bit less exciting for me but overall pretty good tape so 6 and 8 leaves us with 7 out of 10 overall for the whole tape the best in the world pack that's how Drake is feeling uh, and we cannot deny that this dude has some talent. This dude makes one of the best music out there, for sure. His catalog is great. He just has. He's on the legendary status, to be honest, for me at least. He, his voice, like the way he sings, for example, are like when when he goes into his R&B shit, like that stuff, that sound he has. You know, when he comes into the track with his voice, it's just like impeccable. Nobody can fucking stop this guy. Let me know if you like Drake. Let me know if you like this tape. Um, pretty good tape, as I said. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what I should react to next. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. I have some sleep. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great weekend. Bye.